in Houston, H Town, you niggas is thriving. Now that she cry, you know Beyonce, my ain't he? I know, man. <laughs> is that the reason everybody thriving? <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Do you realize, and I'm just sitting here thinking about it, you got all, your necklace nice, you always dressing nice, you come over to Boss Talk, you got a big old house, seeing you, you know, you're on the internet, you're walking outside in these big old houses, and them niggas up on the East Coast and West Coast see you niggas in Texas. There was one guy that even commented, it was Young Jock even, Young Jock said them Houston Man, they got the car, they rolling up, they got money. They there's something about the way they, you know, sustain. Like, do you think, you know, do you do you realize people watching that and looking at you and yeah. and, and looking at how you guys are thriving in, in today's times? You look kiki, slim thug, all of y'all, man, look good. Yeah. I mean, hanging in there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My boy, uh G Luck can be done with the studio like is right. really getting to it yeah. like when you look at the way the success is down there bun b with trill burgers That's you know what crazy. i mean like like you got to start thinking about that all of the people in the success yeah. carl crawford with it's with crazy. 1501 i'm being real megan the stallion all the stuff that's going on with uh even i mean when you look at all of those guys bro right. including yourself in houston h-town you niggas is thriving now that shit crazy you know beyonce my ain't he I know, man. <laughs> is that the reason everybody thriving, nigga? <laughs> because of Beyonce. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did she send the blueprint <laughs> around his home? <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> that nigga Beyonce crazy. Put him on the map. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, <I> didn't. <laughs> he saw I Walker. He down there. He got 57 artists. You know what I'm saying? Like, a uh, beat king is a lot of niggas down there, the bro. I had to shake the room. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just had to shake the room, but let me explain. Let me explain. So Beyonce ain't never did nothing for me. So let me, I was just letting you know in the correct time that she was my enemy. But listen, okay. <laughs> I thought it fit right there. But, <laughs> but hear me out. What a lot of people don't know is um, you named a lot of people. I don't know how, but I will tell you one thing about a Texas nigga. This hustle in us, we got a lot to prove because a lot of us don't. It ain't like we had help, you know. When I look at a nigga like B King, he ain't have a lot of help. When I look at a nigga like Walt, he ain't have a lot of help. Kiki, Slim, all of, everybody you named it. It ain't like we just be going touch each other and be like, hey, bro, plug me with this person. Like in Texas, we got a lot of this. Niggas be like, I can't tell you how I did this. So what I will tell you is that hustle. Crazy, cause once you do it yourself, you a monster. See, a lot of niggas got all kind of outsourced help, and they never know how to do it again. You ever seen a nigga sell a brick? You like, damn, that nigga got rid of a brick, and he got rid of that brick, but he might got rid of it in in a way that was very very creative, and he didn't do it. Well, with us, when we get a hit, chances are we we went and paid the right people. We went and worked it at the DJs. We went and did all of the groundwork, so when it's time to get another one, we know how to do it. We know who not to spend money with. Man, we be doing that shit. When Kiki say self-made, I definitely can relate. Like, I be want to, I ain't even, I be want to rep his brand because of how well it resonates with me. Wow. I ain't really had no help. And at this point, I be telling my, my manager, Joe, I don't give a fuck about it either. I, niggas be, oh, yeah, I could have. I don't give a fuck what you could have did, nigga. I know how to do what I know how to do on my own, and what I know how to do get me a, it get me pretty far. Wow, I I, I commend you, bro, and congratulate you guys for sustaining like y'all do down for there. Real. Like I said, don't get me wrong, you got some niggas in Dallas like Lil Run and Mother F. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you right. got some, you got some niggas here that's really like like top notch. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When it Big X, he down here causing hell. Big X if you got that's the new niggas. I didn't really mention Big X because if I mention Big X, I got to mention D Baby and and that Mexican OT because mm -hmm. that's the newer. You have set in a place that's. Solidified. You know I did uh uh D Baby biggest song right now. Really? Me and D Baby been working for about four years. But that nigga hard, he's bro. He's super hard. And and I was on tour with X. X cool to the motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, I seen you guys together. OT cool. We got some shit about to drop. Uh man, it's just what I do like about Texas is once we get what we need to get, we will stop and, and we will do a little collaborating. 
You feel me? Sometimes it get weird. Niggas get weird because somewhere down the line, niggas be thinking they in competition. Mm-hmm. That shit be weird. But to me, it be like, bro, with me, I don't got that problem because I be feeling like a lot of people don't compare with me. And it ain't like I think I'm better than you. I just don't think you my direct competition. You feel me? So it be weird. But for the most part, when we can get off our high horses, get off that ego, and we do collab, Man, I tell you, like a nigga like me and B King, we don't miss together. Wow, I want to ask you about Jay Prince, man, because when you think about that whole move, that whole dynamic down there, Jay Prince was one of the first, the first mm-hmm. to come out and really set the mode that we here doing music and we here to stay. He that guy with the ghetto boys and just the way that they all <laughs> came together to make that movement. Mm-hmm. How big is that for Houston? That's huge. And if it wasn't, I would never say nothing because you don't play with Jay Prince. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid as that. No, but Jay just a cool nigga, though, when it come down to the move. I'm talking about the action of the music, nigga. Man. You know what I'm saying? We got to be real. He might do this or that, but the nigga is Man. smart, and the nigga put it down yeah. for our whole, like, like Texas without him. That it ain't Master P say he wouldn't even be doing this if it wasn't for him. I respect Jay and I just don't want a public service. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he like, I ain't saying hey, that. Hey, <laughs> little DJ. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, what I will say though Love is. Love Jay Prince, man. All right, you want to know a crazy story? This is crazy. Nobody know this. Okay. So, I'm from a little small town called Brookshire, right? Okay. Jay Prince got a ranch in Sunnyside where I used to stay. Sorry for telling all your business, Jay. Big ass ranch. Nice ass <laughs> ranch, right? Ever since I was a baby, you pass by that bitch and say, Prince Ranch, right? Ooh-hoo-hoo. So when you see it, I'm like, eight, hey, wanna be a rapper? I see Prince Ranch, uh, Prince Ranch, and I know about Jay Prince at eight. And it's this big ass mansion in the back, right? So you can see the mansion, but you can barely see it. That bitch looks like a look. But you know it's a mansion, though, because it's so far. So every, when I turn 15, every time I record a song, I go put my CD in the mailbox. I go pass out the house, hoping one day he get that bitch and hear it, right? Never did. I'm happy he didn't. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with Jay. I'm just saying, I'm here to pity. I be getting a lot of money. I'm, I'm glad I, you know, I made it here alone. But what I'm going to tell you is he been influencing the game since I was a baby. Wow. So even to be where he at now, and shout out to his kids, because even a lot of people be trying to discredit them, but to see what they done did in the game, like, Man, I don't give a f*** what you think. I tell y'all, Beyonce, my ain't it, but you can't pass this family shit. You can't just be, it don't work like that. You can't say, this my nephew. I'm finna pit him on. You know how many people done tried that? It don't work like that. Look at little, little Romeo. P did it. He had a wave. He had a <laughs> You can't just hand. I'm saying, Master no, Romeo. P, <laughs> P couldn't hand out P. You feel me? He can no. give him, he can <laughs> give him some, he, can, he gave him some Miller, but he can't give him Master P. Yeah. So when I see somebody like his kids and what they done done, like, you know, with Jazz and some of the things he's been successful at or, or with Junior, man, it's like a lot of people might say what they say, but I mean, I'm just, I'm a person who knows that I can hang with Kevin Gates for the rest of my life. If it ain't in me, he can't hand it off to me. You can't hand it off to you. You got that exactly right, bro. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.